All right. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Uh, we got a, a little bit of a wild ride to go over here because this is uh, actually, you know, from the from the Washington Post of all things. So uh, we're going to read through this article and see what we think about it. And I have a, I have a programmer in my in my side chat. I might have more than one programmer. So I know at least Porpoise is a programmer. So we're going to talk about uh, the uh, notion that chat GPT leans liberal research shows. Yeah, it's like uh, reality kind of has this weird left-leaning bias, right? That uh, the, the world that we actually exist in conforms more to the left-leaning left point of view than the right-leaning point of view is not a surprise to me. But let's read on. Chatbots are ingrained with political bias picked up from their training data, which is in most cases is unfiltered text from the web. Okay. A paper from UK based researchers suggests that open AI's chat GPT has a liberal bias highlighting how artificial intelligence companies are struggling to control the behavior of the bots, even as they push them out to the millions of users worldwide. The study for, from researchers at the University of East Anglia asked ChatGPT to answer a survey on political beliefs as it believed supporters of liberal parties in the United States, United Kingdom, and Brazil might answer them. They then asked ChatGPT to answer the same questions without any prompting and compared the two sets of responses. The results showed a significant and systematic political bias towards the Democrats in the U.S., Lula in Brazil, and the Labor Party in the U.K. The researchers wrote referring to... Uh, Luiz Inacio Lula da Silva, Brazil's leftist president. The paper adds to a growing body of research on chatbots, showing that despite their designers trying to control potential biases, the bots are infused with assumptions, beliefs, and stereotypes found in the realm of data scraped from the open internet that they are trained on. The stakes are getting higher as the United States barrels towards the 2024 presidential election. Chatbots are becoming a part of daily life for some people who use ChatGPT and other bots like Google Bard to summarize documents, answer questions, and help them with professional and personal writing. Google has begun using its chatbot technology to answer questions directly in search results, while political campaigns have turned to the bots to write fundraising emails and generate political ads. ChatGPT will tell users that it doesn't have any political opinions or beliefs, but in reality it does show certain bias, said Fabio Motoki a lecturer at the University of East Anglia in Northwich, England, and one of the authors of the new paper, there's a danger of eroding public trust or maybe even influencing election results. Yeah, we should influence election, this should influence election results because these are, yeah, un, un, these are uh, algorithms un, incapable of, of having a political bias or leaning. They don't have any dog in the race. They're just reflecting reality and people are whining because it uh, the reality again as i said at the beginning of the segment is it has a a famously uh left-leaning bias right <laughs> so when you uh compare both uh views or the, you compare the political spectrum it's going uh it's to reality it's going to uh suggest that the left is is true that's why when we fact check people like Donald Trump who speak from the right, uh, it is uh, often it just, they're, they're lying, they're telling more lies in, in each sentence than, than there are words. Uh, it's, it's wild. I don't understand why they can't uh, uh, wrap their heads around what this indicates. So 
Spokesperson of Meta, Google, and OpenAI did not immediately respond to request for comment. OpenAI has said it explicitly tells its human trainers not to favor any specific political group. Any biases that show up in chat GPT answers are bugs, not features, the company said in February's blog post. Though chatbots are an exciting technology, they're not without their faults. Google AI executives wrote in a March blog post announcing the broad deployment of BARD because they learned from a wide range of information that reflects real-world biases and stereotypes. They, those sometimes show up in their output. For years, a debate has raged over how social media and the internet affects political outcomes. The internet has become a core tool for disseminating political messages and for people to learn about candidates. But at the same time, social media algorithms that boost the most controversial messages can also contribute towards polarization. Governments also use social media to try to sow dissent in other countries by boosting radical voices and spreading propaganda. The new wave of generative chatbots like OpenAI, ChatGPT, Google's Bard, and Microsoft's Bing are based on large language models. Algorithms which have crunched billions of sentences from the open internet and can answer a range of open-ended prompts, giving them the ability to write professional exams, create poetry, and describe complex political issues. But because they are trained on so much data, the companies build them the companies build them do not check exactly what goes into the bots. The internet goes into the bots. What do you mean check it? The internet goes into it. <laughs> The internet reflects the bias held by people, so the bot takes on those biases too. And the bot, <laughs> the people's biases, well, the, the, the factual information on there that's available on the internet, unfactual information too, unfortunately, but yeah, as far as, uh, what are we talking about explaining the Bible? <laughs> oh, you guys. Where were we? And the bots have become a central part of the debate around politics, social media, and technology. Almost as soon as ChatGPT was released in November of last year, right-wing activists began accusing it of having a liberal bias for saying that it was better to be supportive of affirmative action and transgender rights. Because it is. It's like... It's like uh, Evidence-based, you, you dingbat. That's not. It's not a bias. Transgender rights is human rights are not. Uh, should not be political bias. I think people should have these. These people should have uh, rights. Is a, is not a bias. Conservative activists called Jat B, Jat G, Jat Chat GPT woke AI and tried to create a version of the technology that removed guardrails against racist and sexist speech. In February, after people posted about ChatGPT writing a poem praising President Biden but declining to do the same for former President Donald Trump because he's a criminal. He's like got 91 fucking charges against him now. Not uh, fel These are felony charges. Why would, it, why would anybody praise this guy? He, uh, he didn't do good for our, for our nation at all. He, we... He set things back about a half a decade. Why would it, why would it write a poem praising somebody? It's like saying it wouldn't write a poem praising Hitler. Good grief. Uh, a staffer for Senator Ted Cruz accused open AI of purposefully building a political bias into its bot. Soon, a social media mob began harassing three open AI employees, two women, one of them black, and a non-binary worker, blaming them for the alleged bias against Trump. None of them worked directly on ChatGPT. Chan Park, a researcher at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, has studied how different language models showcase different degrees of bias. She found that bots trained on internet data 
from after Donald Trump's election as president in 2016 showed more polarization than bots trained on data from before the election. The polarization in society is actually being reflected in the model too, Park said. So th there's a, a, a level of in incredulity here that they're like, ah, so the bots are biased. No, Donald Trump is just polarizing. MAGA is a, is, is a bad polarizing movement. Uh, and if it's MAGA is reflected like it is in the UK with uh, with the Tories and uh, in recent years with it, they, they follow in the same kind of, uh, of right wing extremism. Those are extremist points of view. They're not they're not the, the majority. So being anti anti trans rights or uh, uh, or being uh, uh, in, or anti LGBTQ is is or affirm anti affirmative action is going to be fringe. Why are we saying that? Hey, it's biased because it doesn't support the fringe. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't agree. Uh, the polarization in society is actually being reflected in the model too. Park said, as the bots begin being used more and increased percentage of the information on the internet will be generated by bots. As the data is fed back into new chat bots, it might actually increase the polarization of answers, she said. It has the potential to form a type of vicious cycle, said Parks. Parks' team tested 14 different chat bot models by asking political questions on topics such as immigration, climate change, the role of the government in same-sex marriage. The research uh, released earlier this summer showed that the model developed by Google called bidirectional encoder representation for, from the Transformers, or BERT, were more socially conservative, potentially because they were trained more on books as compared with other <laughs> models that learn more from more on internet data and social media comments. Oh, is that right? You think that uh, they, you think that the books support anti climate change positions and things? Yeah, I don't. I don't believe that. I think that being trained on books is going to cause you to be more in support of climate change and more in support of uh, of the government's uh, role in same-sex marriage because people having more, having the, the society having rights is a good thing. So weird. Facebook's uh, llama model was slightly more authoritarian and right-wing while OpenAI's uh, GPT-4, its most up-to-date technology, tends to be more economically and socially liberal. One factor at play may be the amount of direct human training that the chatbots have gone through. Researchers have pointed to the extensive amount of human feedback OpenAI bots have gotten compared to their rivals as one of the reasons they surprise so many people with their ability to answer complex questions while avoiding veering into racist or sexist hate speech as previous chat box often chat bots often did rewarding the bots during training or giving answers that did not include hate speech could also be pushing the bots towards giving more liberal answers on social issues park said the papers have some inherent shortcomings political beliefs are subjective and ideas about what is liberal or conservative might change depending on the country both the University of East Anglia's paper and the one from Park's team that suggests ChatGPT has a liberal bias used uh, questions from the Political Compass, a survey that has been criticized for years as reducing complex ideas to a simple four-quadrant grid. Other researchers are working to find ways to mitigate political bias in chatbots in a 2021 paper, a team of researchers from Dartmouth College in the University of Texas proposed a system that can sit on top of chatbot and detect bias speech, then replace it with more neutral terms. By training their own bot specifically on highly politicized uh, speech 
drawn from social media and websites catering to white ring, white, white ring, <laughs> right wing and left wing groups. They taught it to recognize more biased language. It's very unlikely that the web is going to be perfectly neutral, said Soros Visawi, one of the 2021 uh, study authors and researcher at Dartmouth College. The larger the data set, the more clearly the bias is going to be present present in the model. All right. So what do you guys think? Is uh, is chat uh, or chat bots biased? Uh, are we going to just uh, go with the notion that oh, it's the, that not being racist means it's uh, it's got a left leading bias that not because uh, that I mean there was uh, the polarizing language and stuff that they're talking about here. Uh, yeah, we should not have bots that that want to uh, do hate speech and. Uh, have questionable ideas on sci on scientific uh, topics like uh, like climate change, uh, but having sexist and racist commentary, come on now. We don't need bots doing that. We don't need bots because kids are using these in school and things. You want a bot that's going to be racist? You want a bot that's going to be sexist? What are we going to teach? We're going to start uh, training bots on PragerU. Oh my gosh, could you imagine a chatbot tra trained by PragerU? That'd be hilarious. All right, so yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below if, uh, <laughs> and if uh, you have any, uh, any questions or anything about this, definitely I'm willing to tell you my point of view about it. So uh, hit me up. Anyway, uh, please remember to be kind, take care, and we will see you next time.